Google Analytics now has benchmarking feature that allows you to compare some of your metrics against other businesses. In this video, I will explain how all of this works and why I am not using this. Currently, when I'm recording this video, benchmarking is available only in the home section right here. And it is indicated by this icon right here. However, many metrics in GE4 are not supported by benchmarking. That's why this icon right here is grayed out. And if I click it, it will tell me that benchmarking is not available for this particular metric. Also, one thing to mention is that you should check if benchmarking is enabled in your account at all. You can do that by going to admin, then account details. And here you should have this checkbox enabled. If not, then enable it right here. And then this feature should become available, I think, within the next 24 hours. So once you have enabled modeling contributions and business insights, then you can go to home. And here right now, none of these metrics actually are supported by benchmarking, but I can choose other metrics. For example, if I click here and then I go to benchmarking, I can see what kind of metrics are supported. For example, session key event rate or transactions per active user and so on. Let me select session key event rate, for example. Then this icon will become active and you will see a slightly different chart compared to other metrics. So the blue solid line right here is my data. Then the gray dotted line is the median, which means that normally session key event rate in other accounts that are participating in benchmarking, their median session key event rate is higher. And this green background right here is the peer range, which means that this is the range of the usual session key event rates of my peers. And when I say peers, I mean accounts and properties that participate in benchmarking. You can also take a look at other metrics, for example, bounce rate, even though I'm not a fan of this metric, but you can also see the range. And in my case, the bounce rate is lower than the usual range of my peers. You can also click on this icon right here to see what kind of peer group are you in. Google Analytics tried to identify this automatically, and in my case, it did it pretty well. But you can just double check that. If not, then click here and then try to find an industry that describes you the best. Anyway, speaking of benchmarking, personally, I don't use it because I see way too many problems with it. And it's not just about GA4 benchmarking. In Universal Analytics, which is the previous version, we also had some benchmarking features, and I also did not use them. I just don't think that benchmarking in general is a useful feature because how can I be sure that, for example, other websites and other peers in my group that they are tracking their data correctly? Because, for example, bounce rate is a metric that can be easily manipulated or it can be affected by incorrect setups. If a website has a duplicate page view problem, then their bounce rate will be much lower. Even though in this case, my metric looks better. But if I go to, let's say, session key event rate, my session key event rate is much lower than of other peers in my group. First of all, I cannot select a particular event because maybe other peers are tracking different events as key events. Also, I have seen way too many properties where people just track regular, not very important events as key events. For example, I've seen someone tracking add to cart as a key event, which is definitely not that, at least in my opinion. Things like form submissions or purchases or something like that should be key events. But some smaller interactions, I don't think that they are worth the title of the key event. So I cannot be guaranteed that benchmarking data is accurate. And even if it was accurate, I still don't know much of the context, like what those peers are, what is their business context. If I see a metric like this, where my key event rate is much lower than of other peers in the industry, what should I do about that? What can I do about it? I don't know what they're doing. I don't know how they drive traffic. I don't know how they run their marketing. So in my opinion, benchmarking will probably just introduce more anxiety rather than actually provide some benefit. If you or maybe your upper management still insist on using that, sure, you're free to do so. But personally, these were just my two cents on why I am not using benchmarking. And that's how benchmarking works in GA4. Are you planning to use it? Or maybe you agree with my approach? Let me know in the comments.
If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.